Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this episode is a special episode that will be dedicated specifically to hacking in Deus Ex. Uh, hacking is is one of the most uh, important skills that uh, a player needs in going through this uh, game because it first it provides a lot of experience number two it allows access to areas in even in the main mission uh, areas and a lot of the side quests requires hacking and also finding alternate routes also requires hacking and also uh, like in this particular like these two storage uh, storage compartments here which we will use as a uh, demonstration for our hacking uh, they provide possibly good loot and uh, in this area so hacking requires hacking is, a, is the, the, the basic concept of hacking is simply this every time we try to hack into a security system uh, there's always a chance of being detected and once detect we are detected then what happens is then the like let's look at this uh like this is a uh like, let's look at this system this system has a security rating of two and by pressing triangle uh it shows us the whole system layout this whole system layout shows this is where our entry point is and what we want to capture are the registries which are this green and in this case it has two registries so these two registries are the ones we want to capture once we capture them we are we have hacked the system this red circulating thing here is the detection security process so what we're trying to do is navigate our way through each node this is a node that's a node that's a node to get to this node so since this is as and each node has a security rate rating from one to five zero to five zero meaning it has we have zero chance of being detected now two means it has a level two uh, security rating we have a 15 percent chance of being detected one also the same 15 percent chance the minimum is 15 percent unless it is a zero rating uh node so two and four is 45 based on this layout and based on the augments that we have we we have meaning that's another issue so these have like security rating zero two okay so the process would be so we will be let's say trying to get to this green one we need to go we need to hop from this blue to this zero to two here to two here to two here and then here and then we can capture this right and however we still have since this is two registry we still also have to capture this other registry so is there another system where we can go through so like this one has arrows pointing this way right so that means that means uh it if there are arrows that means it's a one-way street it just heads that way if there are no arrows that means that's a two-way street it can either go this way and that way and so on this other side we need how many jumps to get to the green we need one two three four nodes of oh, five nodes to get to the green and here we need we can't go we cannot oh we can go this way too right uh no because we're trying to get to this green so we need to go one two three four to get to this part right to five so one two three four five so they have different routes they don't share a common route so one two three four and five so the more critical the more critical path that we have in this configuration 
it's this path. This, 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 and this to this. Reason why I say that is that so each node also has a what do you call this? Whenever we when we like this one, we already have this node, right? So when we press the square button, we will fortify that particular node. So when we take over this node, it's a zero rating. We can now fortify that one. But right now we haven't taken over that one, so we cannot fortify it. So, so fortifying means uh, it strengthens our captured node so that when the uh, security, when the alert flashes, and this red security uh, sphere s sends out its tracer, a fortified node, a node that we fortified will be strengthened correspondingly. And there are fortification levels like level one, level two, and level three. So the level three means that node will have triple fortification. It will take the uh, detection process three times longer to, to get through that fortified node before it can get to the next node. So the detection process will originate from this red sphere and go out to here, 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 to the blue node, to, to our entry point. Once it hits our entry point, uh, that means the system will automatically lock down. We, we cannot, because it would have identified our entry point and it will have locked down the whole system. So then the key would be, of course, the very first thing we want to do is to approach this as stealthily as we can. So as we, so we will maximize whatever the low risk environments are. So this has zero, this would be the first one we will try to capture. And we will not fortify it immediately. Fortifying a node also has the same level of detection percentage. Like this has a 15% detection, uh, capture detection alarm. So a detection, says it 15 percent it will set up we will set up an alarm when we're trying to capture this node so when we fortify it it the, there is an additional 15 percent not additional the capture the fortification process also has a 15 percent uh, alarm detection meaning we will set we will set off the alarm as a 15 percent chance we will set off the alarm so the higher the level of the node the higher is the percentage chance that we will set off an alarm. And the higher the security rating of a node is also means it takes a lot longer to capture that node. So a zero node is easy to capture as against a four is very hard to capture. So in this case, what we will do is is work with this so we'll go through here to capture all this so that's one aspect of it the second aspect is let us get out of this let's exit this uh, the second aspect is the amount of augments we have the augments that works on hacking that are or not works on hacking but are pertinent to hacking is are these what, three one two three so this first one says what are the levels of securities we can hack this is level two i have all of these augmented so that we can hack up to level five uh, security ratings so one uh, uh, this is one this is two three four and five on the right side this says we can hack turrets we can hack cameras i have not invested in hacking robots yet so that's one area so that means when we buy this we buy i have expended one practice point on this two three four five practice points to get to level five hacking so that's one the other one is this is the fortification area so 
once we capture a node, we can fortify it. Remember, again, fortifying that node also contains a risk of generating a an alarm. So, there. Uh, the second level, oh, this is the first level actually, increased defensive rating of the fortified nodes. This doubles the rating of the fortified node. This will triple it. So this is very important, right? So this one gives us access. This one uh, allows, slows down when the alert is identified or when an alert is generated and now the red thing is, you will see a red line coming out from the red cir circle tracing a line directly to our blue entry node and once so this one will slow the, that line down at the node level now this for me is more critical than the than this one uh, this is fortifying this is stealth why is it more important it's because with each level of stealth, it reduced the node's capture detection by 15%. So, if a level 5 node usually has, like, it explains here, like, it has like a 60%, I, I can't remember anymore how what percentage it is, maybe 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. I think level 5 have a 75% uh, detection percentage, alarm being set off. 75% That's almost like 3 quarters, that's guaranteed. So I have 3 levels of that, so it will take away, that's 15%, that's 30%, and that's take away 45%. So it will take away 45% of an alarms node. So that one... It will reduce that node's security level. Let's say, when we look at this one. This is a level 5 security uh, system. So when we try to break this, see, this level 5 still has a capture detection of 60%. So if I did not invest all those points into stealth detection reduction, this would be like a hundred percent. This would be like another hundred percent, and this would be close to a hundred percent. So, so in these situations, if we don't have those, then it brings in the third leg of hacking. Let's get out of this one. Exit. Yes. The third leg of hacking are the hacking softwares that we have. We have stealth, and it reduces the detection rating on a node to 0%. So a 5% of a level 5 security, remember when we looked at the le six, five, even with three stealth levels on our augments, the level 5 security still has a 60% detection probability. So that means hacking it ha like hacking that level 5 security lock with multiple nodes of 5s and 4s is guaranteed is guaranteed to raise an alarm to offset that one way is to use the stealth facilities to break the level 5 node down to zero so once it's down to zero we can hack it and we'll get we'll take the node and then we can fortify it remember it takes a long time uh, for us to capture it vice versa conversely when the tracing is going through and we have it fortified that level five node the trace is also slowed down dramatically so it's a this is for me it, it this is the best software there is the other softwares are the reveal software. So what this one does is that it shows you the complete outline of the network. Because a lot of them are have a fog of war to it, meaning everything is blackened out except the, the next adjacent uh, nodes to our entry node. 
to our blue nodes. So this one, pressing this one or using this software will, will open up the whole map for us. Now data scan software shows you what the nodes contain or where potential firewalls are. See, when we are taking over nodes, there will be certain nodes that actually can give us extra experience or maybe they can even give us extra software like maybe another virus software or a, a one software, one of these softwares that we are using. And here is the overclock software, which I have never used yet. This accelerates the processing of the hacker's intrusion efforts. So uh, again, so once we have, we have, let's assume it's a level five node and uh, it will be, high, we, we, we already know a high likelihood chance that it will be detected and we're out of stealth and all the kinds. And this is the only thing we have left. So we can use this to speed up the capture of the level five node uh, or uh, of the level f or the last, what do you call this? Assuming, assuming, let me rephrase that. Let's say assuming we have, we're going through a level five node and the next node is the green, is the registry, it's the last one, right? So when we go to the level five node, and when we capture it, it triggers an alarm. And when we can, and we, as we're seeing that the trace or the security tracing is approaching ours, instead of waiting for the uh, green to slowly, for, for the system to slowly capture the green registry, we can use this to speed up the process. That's one thing. Uh, so, but I've never used this. I've, I haven't, uh, I haven't used this. The other one is the nuke. This is all very, very uh, useful in that this program uses overwhelming force to capture uh, a node causing, so we will immediately capture that node and, but it will also instantly trigger an alarm. So I will show you what, where we can use that. And this stop warm slows down the tracing or freezes the tracing by the red uh, node for a few seconds, maybe about five seconds. So let's go back to this uh, by analyzing this hat, right? So let's say, assuming we got to here, right? And we assuming we got to here, we can, and if, if if there is no break here that will prevent us from capturing, we can actually capture the red, this red node too. Because by capturing the red node, this red node, we don't have to capture these two registry to just get in. By capturing the red node, we can also get in. So assuming we are, uh, we have access to this, we can capture this. And the other thing that I was saying that uh, the data scan will reveal, uh, it doesn't have one of those things. These are just regular nodes. There are actually data, this, uh, this is a registry. This is a uh, diag diagnostic node. And this is our in entry point. Now there are, let's get out of here and let's check the other one. To uh, see if they have a data uh, node. Uh, okay, this one. This is what I mean as a data store. Uh, by cracking this, it usually yields a uh, either more experience points or it gives us a software. So in this one, here, we don't have access to the red one because there's only one line coming out of the red one. It is one way, so we cannot capture it. So now let us uh, cancel, okay? And let's get, get out. And let's put into practice what uh, we just went over. Okay, uh, pressing square, triangle to hack. Okay, we can go this through the circuitous route to capture the registry. 
or we can be bold and go for the uh, diagnostic security. Anyway, we have uh, on this thing we have we have five tries on this. Okay, so let's try this. Let's let's go for the bold, right? Let's go for the bold. bold. I'm, but it's very. I'm. Okay, let's. How about let's let's do a reveal. No, no, no a data scan. Let let me check again. Uh, check what the, that will tell us the possible areas of problem. I think it's a data scan. Uh, stealth, reveal, data scan. So it can reveal content of nearby data stores and the location of firewalls. Okay, let's data scan. Uh, just for this practice. Uh, okay, hack. And let's do the data scan, which is uh, the D-pad up button. Okay, we did a data scan. Now there's that firewall, see? It was tempting, see, zero, two, two. So apparently there's no way to get to that thing because there's a firewall here. So using that data scan, so this seems to be like an alternative route, a shorter route to capture this without, without triggering an alarm because zero, two, and two. So we still have to go through here. So let's, so that was helpful. Let's go through this, pressing X. So that means we've captured it, it's blue. Now we can fortify it, pressing square button. So we've gone one step here. Uh, let's go one step here too. So there are no other firewalls here, right? So let's capture this. So even if we fortify this, it has a 15% uh, detection potential. Oh, the problem is we have to go through this four, right? Uh huh. Okay. What do we go through here? No, no, let's get this one first. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. The key would be to get this thing and then to fortify it. Uh, because this one has a likelihood of triggering. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Nice. Now the key would be as soon as we once we're trying to f capture this we should uh, position our cursor on this to fortify it in case an alarm is raised. Nope. So let's capture this and position over here. Nope. Let's capture this and position over here. Good. Then let us position over this. Nice. So there's no way to for us to break through here, right? Okay. Let's assume let's us fortify this. And See, if we did not know of this firewall, if we did not use that data scan, we would not know. And we would have tried to capture this. So by doing that, it will trigger an alarm. So let's fortify, we've fortified all of those. So let's see what happens when we trigger an alarm. See? It starts sending out... Okay. So we have successfully... Oops, there goes the bell. Uh, we have successfully captured this node. And when you open it, so it usually got some loot in it, not not really that much, so not bad. But we got experience points for that, and we did it in the first try. The first try gives us a plus five experience points. Now let's try using this, and based on what we have learned, like this is a level five, right? A sixty percent chance of being uh, identified or being caught. So this would be a good chance to use a stealth software. So let's try that. Uh, D-pad 
left button. Okay, it now has... See, it's still a level 5. But the capture detection is now down to 0. So, let's capture this. With impunity. <laughs> okay, let's also use the data scan to find out what is stored here. Oh, it contains an overclock software. But there is a firewall here. So that means this thing was laid out as a temp, right? To temp us. There will be a firewall. So now, so that was, that. that's like a sucker's uh, bet. Okay, and then so this one now has a 45% chance of detection. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this the same. That's why I, I, I love stealth. Uh, I, I rarely use the software to to uh, to help me in my hacking process because what I usually do is I save it first and then I use the ch percentage chance like in this case I will I will usually go ahead and try to hack it and 45% chance of detection is is for me uh, an acceptable level but this one, earlier at 60%, no. So uh, here, let's just for the sake of uh, this tutorial, uh, let's do a stealth, uh, a stealth on this. And now it's zero, so let's capture it. And hack it, uh, and fortify it rather. And the reason for that is that it now has a level 2 uh, fortification. Oh, it's at level 6 now. <laughs> That's pretty high. We fortify this too, right? Okay. Uh, and so when, when we hack, when we take over this and we get detected, this thing will sl be slowed down significantly by this level 6. Okay, let's try hacking this. 45% chance. See? That's why 45% chance we didn't generate an alarm. And that for me is always a... Uh, 45 is a good probability to work on. Can we hack this? We can't. We cannot. It's just a one-way traffic. So, we'll do this and we get entry. Access granted. So that concludes our tutorial on hacking. So nothing in this one, right? We didn't get anything on this one. So this, but we got experience points for the process of hacking. Anyway, so that's that's what about that's what all hacking is about. I hope you guys were able to profit from it. Uh, thank you guys for joining me, and I hope you will join me in my regular episodes. Bye!